Good morning, and I'm here with softball coach Rebecca Hewitt, sitting in her fifth year of coaching the Middle Georgia, Middle Georgia State University Lady Knights. And I'm just going to get a preview of what this season is going to be like. Co coach, I want to thank you for coming in here today. And just want to fly in here with the first question. 2020 softball season was basically cut short. We only got in about 16 games or so. So with COVID, COVID still hovering over our heads, so give me one word, if you can, uh, on how the team is looking and feeling in 2021. Truly, I see this team as very motivated. I think when we all got our season taken away last year and the games got taken away, it was devastating. My, my team did not handle it well. They were always talking, always working out, always sending videos to each other of showing them that, hey, we want to get back on the field. And so with coming in this year, they all have been motivated to get out there. And when we play them other games, it's just you can see, even if we're, we get down, they're fighting to get back. They're fighting to play the game that they truly love. After the train wreck of a year that we call 2020, motivated is just the word that all softball fans want to hear. They got stripped of their fun. Now it's time to get down to business. So the team already had uh, has some games under their belts and have gotten plenty of practice in as well. So I want to get your uh, how your expectations have have they matched, exceeded, or been underwhelmed from these game performances? Well, see, coming off the fall, we were 6-0. and We came off very strong, having a great fall. So coming into the season, I knew it was going to be a little tougher. That was a fall ball. Spring and fall are totally different. So we had two games yesterday, and we played top 25 team in the nation, and it was awesome. I know we lost our two games, but seeing them come off the field with the passion and the fight and, and the devastation that they were still holding on to those losses gave me so much hope for this, this season. We're very young this season, but we have a lot of passion and, and potential to, to make a really good season. It's always good to make your coach happy. Think of the phrase, iron sharpens iron. The way the practices and games are unfolding is providing visual truth to the phrase and hope of huge success to all fans. And now before I go, there's one last thing that needs to be done. Can you tell the fans what they can expect to see this season going forward and if there is one certain player that we should keep an eye on? <laughs> Moving forward, you should see a lot of hustle and passion because this team, off the field, they are fun. They are doing stuff together. They hang out together. So you should definitely see the chemistry and a, a fun environment with the team to be around. Some key players though, I, I that's hard for me to pinpoint because mm -hmm. this team is so, they have so much potential. Mm -hmm. But of course our pitching staff, we have Caroline Newton, mm -hmm. Sydney Shackelford, and Danny Powers that are gonna be in the circle that I think everybody should definitely keep an eye on. Um, and then, I mean, we still have some big players in the field. It's hard to pinpoint, I will be honest. It's hard to pinpoint because we have right. so much depth in the dugout. We can have people coming off the bench and coming in the game and not affecting it. It's still being competitive ball. So the whole team. I'm going to shout out the whole, whole roster. Right. Many teams have maybe one or two key players that people should keep their eye on as the season moves forward. After hearing Coach Hewitt tell us to keep an eye on the entire roster, that means there's something special in the dugout. They're on a mission. For Middle Georgia Softball News, I'm Jacob Harrell. I'll see you later.